Here I am at Christie's in London, and in February, this auction house is going to be witness to a truly remarkable sale of some seriously wonderful paintings, and I've been given a sneak preview. Let's go in. Morning. What a privilege it is to come face to face with this. A really rare, extraordinary thing. This is one of Monet's studies for his greatest project, the Nymphias, the water lily paintings, which are very densely worked. This is painted, as they say in French, au premier coup. It's fantastically immediate, vivid piece of painting, so expressive. Monet is calling our attention to a much larger sense of the cosmos. He's interested in the eternal rhythms of light, of growth, of reflection of light in water. It's an amazing work of art. It's a beacon of hope and it's one man's statement about what he thinks is truly important. What makes Bonnard's work so hypnotically entrancing, he slows time down in this extraordinary way. You have this trembling feeling that this is a real moment that he's remembered. She is evidently caught in the most momentary of gestures. Her face is almost in the dark. It's a memory that's turned into an apparition, that's flavored by a dream, it's conjured out of almost nothing. And yet, goodness me, he's taken the most evanescent, mundane moment and turned it into, into a monument. I think this picture is an absolute stunner. It's by Renoir. It was painted in 1874, which is part of what makes it so remarkable. A kind of disorientating, explosive, immersive vision of nature. This little figure in the heart of it all it's a bit of an enigma and a subject of some debate, but to me, he looks like a portrait of Renoir himself. The picture is all about immersion in natural experience, and there the painter is, totally engulfed and surrounded by this riot of natural forms. I mean, it's an incandescent masterpiece, this fantastic picture. <laughs> 